Hello, hi, how are you today? I'm Patricia, welcome to my channel. So we're on the other side of the lion's gate, but just to mention the energy is gonna continue all week. You might feel like you're in that marathon and you're faltering and I'm gonna encourage you, please keep going, stay the course. There's a lot that's intended to tumble out during this Venus retrograde because you're kind of wrapped in like a retrograde sandwich. Doesn't it feel like we're in permanent retrograde sometimes? So what should we focus on? This is what I'm here to talk to you about is your light body. And as you get through the gate, there's going to be you maybe, or a lot of people that are saying to themselves, I'm in love with me. Now this is a natural thing. And yet for a lot of people, it has not come to them naturally. This is one of the things that this gateway is providing is a real return to a genuine deep feeling of love of self. Do you love yourself? Well, a lot of people kind of psych themselves and they're like, I should love myself. I should speak up for myself. This is actually a feeling where you feel okay by yourself. And there's a reason for that because you have to, because you are still an individual. You have to care for you. You have to get yourself home even if everyone else is drunk. You have to get yourself out of the chaos even if everyone else wants to have drama. You have to be able to work on getting yourself well even if everyone around you seems like they're sick or whatever. So, but it goes beyond that because this word love here, that's the key word, love. Do you love yourself? You know, and, and, I'm going to tell you something on this journey. It's very important because it is one of the stages people go through or phase. Um, I don't want to say the word phase lightly, but you have to have that in order to have proper concern for yourself, proper feeling for yourself, proper feeling that what do you push off of? What do you ask your higher self to help you with? How do you get your own light body? How do you get your connections away from other people? How do you make them stop draining you, making you sick, pulling you into their drama? You try to leave and they're pulling you back in. So this is a whole new level of self-care and self-love. I didn't write it there, but it's love, 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 love. It involves your own light body and not your twin flames light body. What's that all about? because I talk a lot about twin flame stuff, right? Well, there are times you simply have to focus on you, 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 and take care of you and get yourself you where you're going. Because if you're climbing the mountain, you cannot slip on the trail. You can pause, you can breathe, but you have to keep going. Somebody has to keep going. Stay the course. Can you take proper time for you? So how do you pace this with yourself? How do you really understand like when and where and how do you take a break? When and where and how do you get away? Because a lot of people are like, I'm really tired of being by myself. Yes, it can be very tiring. And yet when you reach this stage, it's not. It's actually refreshing. You don't feel like being a hermit, but you're okay and you actually don't feel like you need to fill. You don't need to fill your mind. You don't need to fill your space. You don't need to have non-quality activities. You want quality, you want elegance, you want proper things. So how do you do that? Can you take the proper time for you? Well, some of this goes seasonally and some of it will go with certain energetic portals such as moon cycles, such as um, things that you would, you know, not really notice maybe three years ago, a year ago, and now it's noticeable to you. But sometimes you don't know what to do. Well, there is a thing that's happening, and that is that you had an old version of your light body for the old paradigm and for being an individual. Now you have a new version of your twin flame body but you still have to retain your individuality, who you are as an individual. You'll never get lost in this 
union. You'll never get lost in relationships. You'll never compromise in those relationships. You'll never be fragmented in a million tiny, shiny little pieces that you've probably been picking up for now. So I have a class coming up called The Light Body in Transition. It is starting September 10th. Let me talk a few more things about this. A lot of times when people have their first awakening, part of that process is realizing, wow, I am a human having a spiritual experience. You had a spiritual awakening. You had an awakening. You had an activation. You had a twin flame awakening. You're on the journey, whatever you call it. The more you keep knocking on the door, the more those doors are going to open and you it will barrel along for you. But what do you do when you feel like you've sort of like hit the wall and you get through a big giant portal like the lion's gate and maybe you're still getting through it have you gotten shoved through the threshold are you over the threshold and in now are you even wondering what i'm talking about well i'm talking about your light body and how new it is and that there are parts of you that have to be able to nurture you as the individual as well as nurturing you as part of a unified partnership as, and even if you have a divine partnership, even if you're saying, well, I'm not sure who this person is. Are they a soulmate? Maybe they're not a karmic. Maybe they're ascension partner. Maybe they're like, I don't know. Are they a divine counterpart? I don't know. What I can tell you is this. You need to get better. That means integration of your light body because whatever that relationship is, you focus on you. And it starts to come. It starts, you start to understand who are all these other soulmates and who is, you know, who is it really? You actually become more self-empowered that way and things get clearer for you. You actually can handle much more than you realize. Things that may have made you feel like you're falling apart a year ago or things that like tumbled around like maybe three years ago at a Lionsgate time, right? You had like a, you know, something like a 10 day window or even a month window of time where you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I feel like I'm in a washing machine. Now I'm in the spin cycle. And oh my goodness, I am like so out of this. I'm out. Your ascension doesn't stop. Your higher self will kind of pace it for you a little bit. How about if you are proactive and you pace it? Join my class about the light body and transition because you're going to learn about things like what you're not caring with, addictions, chronic illness, fatigue, a lot of things that nobody wants to have while they're in a love relationship, right? So the focus on you as an individual is highly important. That's real in love with yourself. That is loving yourself when you're like, I love myself so much that I've dumped out all the toxic crap and I am filling myself. I am emptying everything so I can keep filling and filling and filling. Yes, that's how you have to do it. So that you go from a human having a spiritual experience to a spirit or angelic light being person, however you identify an ascending person, a person who is, you know, working for the light and love your spirit having an experience of love and physicality, okay? We flip that. Why? The human side of you is elemental. You are human. That's the elemental side. You're eating things of the earth. You're drinking things of the earth. You're made from earth stuff. You're made from star stuff too. And you are spirit. You are etheric, cosmic, and universal, their cosmic universal. You may not have any idea at this point what those actually feel like or experience, but if you've been drawn to things like astrology or even astronomy, the stars, study of the stars, you would find out that you have cosmic connections because something is nagging at you and tugging at you, letting you know that you have that. So I hope to see you there. We also do sessions, books, readings, and coaching, one-on-one -on -one sessions. Join my webinar. You're going to learn a lot, and I hope to see you there. Have a great day. Bye.